happened? This girl was bringing a lot of money to the masters. But Paul had brought the business to an end. He had brought the business to an end because it was not growing from God. So what am I saying? Pastor, I believe humbly. I'm humbled before you. I know what we are doing here. We are bringing down at altars of some people in this town who have been making a lot of profit in this city. And I know because of that bringing down those, those altars and the businesses which are not godly, I'm saying we should be ready as Paul and Silas. Trouble came. Trouble came. And they were arrested. They were arrested. Paul and Silas were arrested. But we shall not be arrested. <laughs> Pastor, we shall not be arrested. Praise the Lord. However, we are demolishing. We are demolishing many evil things in this city. But we shall not be arrested. And if they try, or well, Jesus is with us. Buona si fiwe. So what am I saying? I'm saying in verse 23. Verse 23. And when they had laid many stripes. Hey, atawadipigwa. When they were laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. I'm saying, Irienda, Vibaya sana manake, waliposhikwa, walipigwa. Walipigwa. Na imagine, wanapigwa, sababu ya kukemea pepo tu, wamefanya kazi ya mungu, kama vile tunafanya hapa. Wamefanya kazi ya mungu, lakini wakashikwa, Na wakapigwa na Biblia inasema many stripes. There were, there were, there were uh, many stripes upon them. And they were cast into the prison. May the Lord help us. Charging the jailer to keep them safely. Verse 24. The Bible says, uh, who, who having received such a charge, that's what we jailer wale, what we prison, thrust them into the inner prison. Ata huko hagu na bahati. Hata kwa jela, waliwe kwa ndani kabisa, ndani kabisa. Sio jela hapa kwa pembeni, waliingisi wa ndani. Na Biblia inasema hata walifungu wa migu. Ukisoma hiyo verse, verse, 20, verse 24. Eh, having received such charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. Imagine, ni kwa sababu ya kukemea pepo tu. Sababu ya kukemea pepo. Wakapigwa, wakawekwa kwa geresa. Now the, the message is the power of praise. The power of praise in suffering. Praise the Lord. The power of praise in suffering. When they were put inside, the Bible says in verse 25, at midnight, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang songs unto God and the prisoners had them. Verse 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Hey, I'm, I'm saying there is a good news. Good news that even when you have done the work of the Lord and you are in trouble, you have done the work of the Lord so well and you are in trouble, there is a way of escaping. There is a way of escaping but trouble will come. Because at the way, ni kama wana semanga ukiru ukirush ni kama police uwezi kurusha mawe kurusha mawe police utaona eh ni kama kuchokosa nyuki utaona ya mtamakuni ama urushie askari mawe eh ni hatari sana what am I saying I'm saying that even we as servants of God but after destroying the works of the enemy. And when trouble breaks, because it will break, when trouble breaks, there is a way of getting out. Praise the Lord. There is a way of getting out. The Bible says, verse 26, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. Praise the Lord. This is the secret of Pendwa of Paul and Silas. I think it's a good story to help us that after doing the work of God faithfully, after serving the Lord faithfully, trouble may break. Trouble may break, but don't be worried. After the trouble breaks, the Bible says in the mid of the night, 
in the middle of the night. They did not keep quiet. Now listen, brethren. They had a right, a right to complain. Hey, wapendwa. They had a right to complain. We are a man of God. We are servants of God. How can you, Lord, allow them to beat us like this? Na tulikemea pepo tu, tulitoa pepo mtu wako aweke huru. Kwa nini umewaruhusu watu pige na hii? They had a right to complain. But listen, brethren, what God is expecting from us, don't complain, don't grumble. When trouble breaks because of the service you have done before the Lord, my brother, my sister, don't complain. The secret of coming out of trouble is to thank God, is to praise the Lord. They praise the Lord in the mid of the night. Praise the Lord. In the mid of the night, they did not keep quiet. With the blood coming down from their backs, the Bible says they were given many stripes. Wali charazwa, kabisa, kabisa. Na ni kukemea pepo tu, wametua pepo. Wapendwa, the work we are doing here, it is godly work. Thank you, I'm so humbled before my senior pastor. And I know there can be trouble. There can be trouble. But the secret of coming out of trouble is what Paul and Silas did. They did not murmur. They did not grumble. They continued to thank God. Imagine, ukona mauchungu huko, ungekua na, right, unajua na siyanga wapendo wakisema, mungu, kwani ulikuwa wapi? Weo, namna yo. Ati kwa nini nilifanywa na mnahi? Mungu, na nakupenda na mnahi. Kwa nini urihusu shetani? Ah, ah, don't complain my brother. Don't complain my sister. Do what Paul and Sila did. Instead of complaining, they worship the Lord. They praise the Lord. The Bible says in the mid of the night. And after praising, suddenly, verse 26, there was a great earthquake. Pastor, I know another quick is going to come. Another quick is going to come here. Yeah, because of the trouble we are going through. I know there are troubles. And another quick is going to come. But we must persistently praise the Lord. Thank God for the Kesha. Thank God for the morning glory and also the light shower and all the services. But as we continue persistently to praise the Lord without complaining, without murmuring, Another quick is coming and it is going to bring down all the problems. All the problems. The devil has targeted us. Amen. Amen. Another quick came so that the foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. This also can qualify to your family. Even your family. Uneza kuna pitia shida. Wapendwa, uneza kuna pitia shida. Sababu unampenda mungu, unamunamutumikia mungu. Ata uko kwa shida kwa family. Kuna msuko suko. Lakini wewe mwanaume, ama mwanamke. Usi complain, usi complain. Entelea kushukuru mungu kwa huyo bibi, abaya olipewa. Ushukuru mungu kwa huyo bibi. Unaweza kumuona sometimes kama mama amegeuka si kama sasa bibi eh? allow me to say this praise the lord pastor anaweza kuwa amekaa ni kama majaribu ama mwanaume amekuwa majaribu lakini usi complain thank god for the wife i normally always say and refer to a scripture says the blessings of god make it rich and addeth no sorrow it is the devil the devil can come in the house Unaona hata mbibi na buwana awasikizani? Awasikizani? Iko shida. I'm saying in the mid of the night, they praise the Lord. Another quick came. The secret of coming out of trouble, be it a family, be it wherever, whatever, in the place of work, it is thanking God. Despite the turmoil, despite the challenge you are going through, you should not complain. You should thank God, even if you are thanking God with the tears coming out of your eyes. Pengine unamuambia mungu wa sante, lakini uchungu ni mukali. Eh, ni safawa. Endelea kumshukuru mungu hata kama machozi inatoka. Wasababu hiyo ndiyo njia ya kuleta ule mtetemeko. Manake ilikuwa another quick came and broke the foundations 
of the devil. Praise the Lord. That is the only way we can come out of trouble. Now let us see. Uh, uh, the Bible says in verse 30, verse 30, and, uh, uh, and, they, and, and they brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? The jailer also saw the power of God. The jailer saw the power of God. After they praised the Lord, after they worshipped the Lord, after he wanted to kill himself, he thought the prisoners have gone away. But the Paul said, Ah, ah, usijiwe, tuko hapa, hakuna, hakuna prisoner metoroka, usijiwe. So this shocked the, the, the jailer. The Bible says, the jailer was so shocked until he came and fell down on his knees before Paul and Silas. I'm saying this, as we praise the Lord, as we come out of every trouble, as we come out of every trouble, Many people will expecting, expecting uh, that uh, that 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 ishida itamaliza huyu mtu wa Mungu. Ah ah, watashangaa wakiona huyu mtu wa Mungu ameendelea kusimama na anaendelea kusimama na nguvu zaidi. Ampaka watakuja watasema hatujaona Mungu kama huyu ambaye yuko ndani ya huyu mtumishi wa Mungu na watapiga magoti na watapokea Yesu. I see brethren there's a time of testing of our faith, of testing of faith. And I believe, pastors, humbly, even in this city altar, I think there is a time of testing. And the Lord can allow a test to see how we are going to be able to overcome the, the, our stand and our love for God. Are we going to complain? No. Are we going to murmur? No. We are going to raise and, and praise the Lord and we shall see the Lord's deliverance. Praise the Lord. So the, 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 the jailer saw the hand of God and he uh, uh, accepted the Lord. The Bible says in verse 34, verse 34, and when he had brought them into his house, he set meat at aliwachinjia. He set meat before them and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house. So I'm seeing brethren, I think as a man of God, as a woman of God, we are supposed to give thanks. Whatever happens, whatever happens, whatever issues might be, we are supposed to give thanks to God. The Bible says after this, the jailer got saved because he could not understand how the prisoners did not escape. And he also, uh, the Bible says, he believed in Jesus, believing in God with all his house. Why? Because of the persistent believing and praising the Lord of Paul and Sila and praying. So this is encouragement, brethren, that we should not give up. Uh, 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 when we go through challenges, we should not give up. We should not, mama, we should not say, kwanini mungu, kwanini. And you know, this is a wonderful church. Praise the Lord. Sini kweli. Muta nesema, ay, lakini hii, bona, bona kwa church hii, bona, aa. Just give thanks. Just give thanks. Thank God. Praise the Lord. As a woman of God, as a servant of God, this, 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 the earthquake came and the foundations, the foundations of the prison broke. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the word. We believe in Jesus' name that God, you, have helped us that every time we go through challenges and difficult moment in life, we shall not mama, we shall not grumble. Paul and Sila did not mama. They had a right to complain, but they did not complain. They thanked you. They worshipped you in the middle of the night and you could not stand this. You could not stand this. You came down and shook the foundation of the prison. Father, I'm praying every problem every problem, every trouble that uh, maybe we are going through. My Father, because of praising you, because of giving you thanks, we pray that the foundations of the problem shall break in the mighty name of Jesus and the deliverance will be seen and the glory will go back to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor Karibi. Karibi, Karibi. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus for that.
please if you are seated next to somebody tell them dance your way out of trouble hey, tell them tell them tell them dance your way out of trouble or when you get trouble don't be troubled dance hallelujah it's a high level of faith it shows how much you trust jesus thank you so much my brother Murori. you can imagine them praising the lord with their torn backs with roman whips having passed through them it must cost you to faint to know it is well with the righteous hallelujah no matter what happens you see i also compare that with them uh, the, 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 the story in the book of first samuel chapter number 31 to and you continue when the men of david came back to ziklag first samuel chapter 30 verse 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 just check on this story because he has spared me two minutes can i try whether i can encourage what he has said come on go first samuel chapter 30 verse number one the Bible says this, that when the men of David came back to Ziklag, it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag, on, that, on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south of Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. Verse number two, verse number two, go, 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 go. And had taken captive the women and those who were there. From small to great, they did not kill anyone, but carried them away and went their way. Go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go, she. So David and his men came in the city, and there it was burnt with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters had been taken captive. And David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and did what? Come on, what did they do? They wept until they had no more power to weep. That is not the way. Keep going. Verse number five. And David's two wives, Ahinoam and uh, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the, Cam the Carmelite, had been taken captive. Go. Now David was greatly distressed. For the people spoke of doing what? Stoning him because he had because the soul of all people were greatly grieved every man for his sons and daughters but david strengthened himself in the lord his god keep going look at this and david said to abide the priest a hey, imelech son please bring me an effort here to me and abide the brother effort so david inquired of the lord shall i pursue shall I, the troop shall i overtake them and he answered him and said, what? Help me read. Want to go? Pursue. And recover all. Listen, I'm agreeing with my brother and with the Lord. The secret is not in weeping. So if you have been weeping in trouble, take your handkerchief and wipe your tears and rejoice. Rejoicing in the Lord in trouble is the greatest faith. So because I'm not preaching, I'm just agreeing with you. I'm saying, go take your stools. I know you've got three stools. Put them on your bed and dance. Dance your way out. If you had no money, dance your way to your money. If you are in a warfare, dance your way out of the warfare. Rejoicing in God who will make you more than a conqueror. Glory be to Jesus. Somebody say, I've received the word. I'll dance my way out of trouble. Please, there is no place of weeping in trouble. Weeping is not an answer of prayer. God never answers cries. He answers faith. Thank you. Mungu hata jibu machozi. Nasikuwa ma mungu hana uruma. Mungu hana uruma sana. Lakini hajibu machozi. Hata ya nyumba ya Yakobo wakati walikosa mtoto. Haku jibu machozi. Ali, al, mpaka wakati alinua kiwango cha imani. So every one of us, faith will show you are believing. My God is still able. My God can fight these four, five, six demons. My God can bring home bread. My God, and you dance like David did. And you shall be victorious.
clap and praise the Lord for the word our brother has brought us. God bless you. It's our time to give unto the Lord. Come on, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice also in giving. Giving is an act of faith. Someone say, my giving is an act of faith. I've seen people give when they don't have money. It's an act of faith. I've seen people uh, uh, tithing even when they don't have any other money to give. It's an act of faith. God will always come through the avenue of faith. Amen. I want a better amen for giving. So you can give your pocket money now. Do you give pocket money? Should you give out of pocket money? You're given pocket money to eat. Then can you give it? I'm asking because I've seen some teenagers in the house. I know you got something. So learn to worship. Let me worship also. Let's worship our way out of trouble. Singing is worship. Giving is worship. Praising is worship. Paul and Silas gave what they had. There was no offering back. They gave a worship out of the praises and worship. The paper number is on the screen. And let's worship. Please, today, we want welcome all of you to a hangout of brethren. We call them the HBCs. It's a hangout for brethren. Than to stay in a matatu. Than to go the wrong places. Be invited to fellowship with guys in wrong places. Please come and fellowship with us at the HBCs downstairs. Or if you have a HBC where you stay, hang out with the brethren. Because Bible says, blessed is a man who does not sit in the council of the ungodly. So you are blessed when you sit in the council of the godly. Somebody say amen. I welcome you personally. And I pray that somebody will hear me and come and hang with the brethren. Tomorrow in the evening we'll be having a very special meeting for all the youths. It's called Jam Tuesday. And I see some youths in the house. And I welcome you uh, to that meeting. Pastor Basil will be with us. And he'll be a blessing to all the youths. The agenda is to keep the youths anointed. So that when God is making appointments, he can only appoint you. Somebody say amen. On Wednesday in the evening, I welcome you for Bible Focus. And thus they will be having told that as they worship every day is grace hour and morning glory. Kesha Friday and the devil can do nothing about it. I want an amen for that also. Lift up your offering. Let me pray for it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you for an opportunity to sit down. Every time you send a word, there is a purpose. Lord, any one of us in trouble, we join them in dancing them out of their trouble. We declare Jesus is Lord. In every circumstance, in every situation, there is no prison too tight that you cannot shake it up. As we give our worship right now, shake out every prison. Let there be a way out. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let the praises and glory come back to you. In Jesus name we pray. And the amen and the amen. God bless you. Let's give to God and let's give with a merry heart, believing and receiving the blessing that comes from above. Somebody say amen. So I've announced to you the rich program for the whole week. Abide by it. Enjoy the services. Come early, come pray, enjoy everything. If you can do any ministry, in the service, do ministry also, and the Lord is going to bless you. Please let's stand up on our feet as you close the service. Look at your neighbor one more time. Tell them there is no prison too tight that God cannot shake it up. Look at the other neighbor. Tell them there is no prison too tight that there cannot be shaking. I, I receive that word and I declare if you are in any prison, God will shake it out so that you can give a praise to God. In Jesus' name, and now the grace and the love of God be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Love your name. At least three people, if you are generous. Yes, Bible gives us a command to love one another. 
always love people, love the brethren, telling them God bless you, God bless you, and God bless you.